Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a simple media player like the one you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, I also have to say I just recorded this tutorial but I was unable to save it so I might not only if I seem pissed off that's why. As you can see it's basic media player. It has a play and pause and stop functions, it has a volume control and a six slider. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna make a new project, uh, a new WPF project, WPF C sharp project. We'll name it Video um, Player. There we go. Um, we're gonna add a media control. I think media or media element. This is this is where the video is gonna play. So put that in there. Make it all pretty. Gonna put in three buttons: one for pause, one for play, and one for stop. And display. And this one pause. And we'll name this stop. Okay, we're gonna add two sliders, one for the seek bar and another one is the volume control. So we're gonna put in the seek bar first, name this slider seek. And we'll make that huge. And now the volume control. Slide of all that will do. Okay, I want to get everything done on the on the in this view so we can when we go into the code we won't get interrupted. Okay, we're gonna Enable the option called Allow Drop on the window. So select your WPF window. Then in the properties, search for Drop. And you should get this option called Allow Drop. Okay, that's that. For your volume control slider, we, we want to change a few values. Change the maximum to 1. The large large change to point one and the small change to point zero one. And we want the default value to be one. Okay. Is there anything else? Yeah, I think that's all. Okay, we're gonna put in the code for the play, pause and stop button. Which it, this is actually really simple. It's just going to be mid. Oops. Media element dot play. Oh, I think this this was the play button. Okay, it was. For the pause button, it's going to be media. Why do I keep doing that? Ele, media element dot pause. And for the stop button, you can probably guess it's going to be media element dot stop. Okay, um, I'm going to put in the code for the volume slider and the six slider now. The volume slider is pretty simple. It's just um, media element media element dot volume equals to double slider yes slider volume dot value there it is and for the six slider it's just media media what the hell dot position equals to 
Oops. It's gonna be a time span. Time. Time span. Um, from the hell is wrong with me today? Anyway, ah, uh, slider sick dot valley. Okay, I think that's the easy part. Well, the easier part. Now we're gonna click on the main WPF window. Click on the events button down here and search for a event handler called drop. And there it is. Double click on it. Okay, when we drop the media file onto the player, we want we want our program to start playing automatically. To do that, we need to get the name of the I mean the path of the file. So it's gonna be string. File name equals to string. Um, we're going to cast whatever we get to a data object, and we're going to cast whatever is dropped. So it's going to be e dot data. I'm horrible with spelling right now. Dot get file drop list um, and it's going to be the first item they, they drop so it's going to be that okay cool now we're going to set the source for the media element dot source you'll see new URI URI And it's going to be a URI from the file name. There we go. Um, we're going to have to change two properties of the media element so so we can control it from within the code. It's going to be media element media element dot load behavior equals to media state dot manual and it's going to be the same for media element dot unload behavior so media media dot manual and now we're just going to set the volume of the media control Equals to double sick yeah, I mean slider volume dot value. And now we're just gonna play the media. Not play. Pretty simple. Um we're gonna now create an event handler on the media element we're going to look for the me event handler called op media opened there we go double click on it and this is going to set the maximum value of a six slider and start a timer which we will create in a second so just type in time span TS equals to media element one dot natural video duration dot time span. Now we're just going to set the slider value. Oops, maximum. Equals to TS dot Total, se total seconds. Oops. Okay. Um. 
just put this in. We haven't implemented this yet, and you'll make sense later. Just go timer dot start. You'll get an error because we haven't created the timer yet. Okay, we're going to create the timer now. We're going to use a thing called the dispatch timer. This will be used to update the thick slider when the video is playing. So we're going to need to use something called system dot windows dot threading. Okay, now we're going to create a create the timer. So it's going to be dispatch timer timer. Do that. Where you under initialize component um, method, type in timer equals to new dispatch timer. Okay. Um, now we're going to set the intervals of the timer off to every half second. So go timer dot intervals equals to time span from milliseconds. Set the milliseconds to 500. And now we're going to create an event handler for the timer tick event. And it's going to be timer.tick. Now type in plus, I mean plus equals to, then press tab twice. And it will create an event handler, as you can see there. Okay, every time the timer ticks, we want the six slider to get updated from the current media position, I guess. So slider seek dot value equals to media element dot position dot total seconds. I think that's it. Okay, um, this should be done. Let me just let's try it. To press F5 to start the program or start debugging, debugging as it's called, and go to a video video file, then just drag it in, and there we go. It works. As you can see, the pause button works, the play button works. The vo uh, you guys can't hear it, but the volume control does work. Um, the six letter works, but it makes the video jump a lot. I don't know why, but you will get to the get to the position to stop playing normally. A way to avoid this is to press the pause button and go to wherever you want, then press the play button. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. I, that should be it.